we are back at it one day later man about to open up the red fried edition the monopoly red fried edition we are going to find out if this is a lemon cherry gelato i believe this right here is the lemon cherry gelato y'all know me bro i suck at describing tree bro i'd be like oh it's gassy oh it's fruity uh, bro, i don't really describe nothing ever since a teenager for real for real my homie he would just be able to smell a nug and be like peanut butter breath oh this is uh skittles oh this is a uh, cookie the only thing i can smell is cookies that's like the only strain i could like most likely get down just got home from work bro nothing like a motherfucking empty house nothing like an empty house so is this motherfucker? Hey, bitch. Get the fuck over here. Hmm? You wanna fucking fuck with me? You wanna fuck with me? I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna fuck you too, bitch. Y'all can see right here the packaging date is gonna be the same 0611 of this year. So it's gonna be testing at one more percent THC higher, testing at 32% THC. The blue one was testing at 31% THC. This is gonna be the red fried edition for Monopoly by Highmark. Oh man, I don't know, man. This one, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. This one smells exactly the same as that blue one, bro. It just smells like a lot more dank. Ooh, but it does not look the same at all. Wow. Okay, I think I'm right, y'all. Oh, there's no way I'm wrong about this. This has to be the lemon cherry and gelato right here. I'll pop up a picture of some lemon cherry gelato. This one has to be the lemon cherry gelato, man, because the other one did not have no purple at all. This one is purple, trichomes are popping, a little bit of hair in there. This looks exactly like some lemon cherry gelato right here. It smells a lot more potent. That blue fried did have a similar smell to this one, but this one is a lot more potent. The smell literally smacks your nose, smacks your face. Y'all can just see the purple right there, man. Trichomes are everywhere. Nice purple, yup. This looks like some lemon cherry gelato right here. Even though it's the same kind of gelato smell, it's almost like day and night from how different, how potent this smell is compared to that blue bag. Damn, bro. This is my last day at Walmart, y'all. I am officially quitting Walmart. Well, I put my two weeks in, you feel me? This is my last day, bro. I literally just took a 30 minute break. No cap. Took a 30 minute break. What are they gonna do, fire me? <laughs> Ow! It's my last day. I don't come, it's my last day. What are you gonna do, fire me? <laughs> what are you gonna do, fire me? Nah, but for real. Fuck this place. This is the last time I locked my car for my final break. I wish I recorded my final lunch. The final time I turned this fucking corner, man. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. My TC, bro. Y'all wanna see my TC, bro? Look, that's how long I've been on break for. <laughs> I gotta fucking restart it. I went to break at 9.10. It is 9.47. I could literally clock out right now if I want to, bro. On the pad below the screen. Shut up. Hi. Hey, Anthony. Wow, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm never gonna work here ever again. Look at these people. We got the homie Nate, bro. This is my brother right here. We about to take a piss and then take a blinker. I'm gonna miss a lot of people here, bro. I can't even lie. Man, shout out to Mike, bro. Shout out to Eric, bro. Shout out to Jeanette. Shout out to fucking Nicole, man. Shout out to, oh man, shout out to Ann. Shout out to motherfucking Nate, bro. The final walk, bro, the final walk. coughing off that hit man this sucks bro oh, i regret leaving this place but nah man it's a blessing and a curse that i never had to come back here again learned a lot look at that bro everybody's gone bro literally everybody's gone before me man ah fuck man this sucks <coughs> <coughs> Yeah.
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel like an idiot right now. I just realized that these bags are based out of a McDonald's fries bag. <laughs> I don't know why I never noticed, but I was just looking at them. I'm like, this looks like a McDonald's. Oh, yeah, right. It's inspired by a whole ass McDonald's thing. All right, man. We got the fried bread edition right here. I ain't gonna lie, man. I drank a little talk him before, uh, before I sparked up this joint. So my taste buds not might be all the way there. Also, there's a lot of wind going on right now. Sorry for the fucking noise. Anyways, man, there's nothing I could do. I do not feel like hotboxing. Because it's like this, bro, if y'all know, bro, y'all know, bro. If you live in Cali, you know, man. It's like this weird time of the weather where it's like, if you get in your car, it's fucking hot with the windows up. But once you get out of your car, you're freezing. So it's kind of like, I don't know, bro. I, 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 I. Here we are, man, in the porch, on the seat, the review seat sparking up another joint i'm not gonna lie just by the smell just by the looks i have some high hopes going into this i think it's gonna be like way better than that blue package but we're gonna see right now and like i said i do believe this is the limit cherry javala right here man let's go ahead and spark up oh yeah bro all right even though the smell is kind of the same just off first inhale, I could already tell this is the lemon cherry gelato right here. Ooh, hell yeah. <coughs> I can already taste it, man. <coughs> Not taste it, but I can already feel it. <coughs> this still has that same harshness, like that irritation on the throat. Same thing, same way. And it happens at the same time. It doesn't happen until the exhale. I'm sure that just has to do with like the cleaning process. Maybe it just wasn't flushed correctly. It was not cleaned all the way through. Ooh. <coughs> this one's making me cough a lot more. If you guys were to buy one and you could only choose one, either red or blue, for sure red, man. The red looks a lot better, it smells a lot better. The, I mean, the only thing I have to complain about is that irritation on the throat. It's kind of the same exact thing with this one. Damn near no difference, for real, for real. I already have a head change, though. That's crazy. I can feel it right here already, man. The high is kicking in. I can feel my, my legs are starting to relax. That's one thing I will say about both of these strains. It is just the overall head and body height. Like your head is buzzing, your body is relaxed. Like, it's pretty weird. Oof. Yep. <coughs> the reason I truly believe that this is the LCG is because one of them is runts, from what I remember. One of them is runts, and then one of them was the lemon cherry gelato. Both strains have gelato, but this one has like a kick to it at the end that's just like very very sweet it's that lemon you know what i'm saying it's that just that it's like that citrusy sativa type of taste you know what i'm saying other one did not have it it was pure gas like all the way in i mean I, on the exhale there was like a little bit of like flavor and i'm pretty sure that was the skittles right there so yeah it's all adding up now man this for sure has to be the lemon cherry gelato i cannot find this no information about none of this like i said in the last video man if y'all know what the genetics of these uh packages are please let me know because i'm dying to know bro i think i'm correct though this has to be the lcg right here wow that's crazy man this has like it has the same taste as that blue bag but it's just like an extra kick to it yeah man I still, I still taste the flavor. Like, I, it's been a good 25 seconds now. I, I still taste it. Yeah, but I, I don't know what it is, though, man. If you inhale it through your nose, it's, like, a little bit harsh. And then as you're exhaling, it, like, kind of irritates your throat. But like I said, it's the exact same irritation as that last one. It's not, like, a bad irritation or, like, some bad weed. Uh, you could just tell, like, a step was left out. Like, it was a little bit rushed something man like there was something that went wrong i would say uh this one's a lot more sativa as well like it's more of a head high it's it's buzzing right here and here that last one it was just here and then my whole body was high but this one is kind of like a it's like a headband you know what i'm saying and i, I can feel my legs a little bit but 
the uh, the blue bag was really like a whole it was a whole body high like my chest felt it my stomach my dick <clears throat> What this really made me want to do is go buy some straight up lemon cherry gelato by like Canateek or something and just see if I'm right. I, I really want to know if this is the lemon cherry gelato. This has to be it though, bro. This is like, there's way too much of a citrus turp in here for it not to be lemon cherry. <laughs> straight up though, this blue pack, I meant this red pack, way better than the blue pack. Me personally, probably just wouldn't buy that blue pack again unless it was like the only good option. Both of these strains were like cool to try out for the one time for the price but if i were to pay a hundred dollars for a fucking quarter of this stuff i would have been so hot man this red pack did not change my mind about that i still feel the exact same way twenty dollars is like a perfect price for this thirty dollars even yeah i would have been pissed off if i paid like over 30 like 35 bucks Ooh, i would have been mad man this just isn't smooth enough to be over 35 dollars over like 30 dollars maybe if it was like a little bit more fresh maybe it was like week of type shit but also too man i gotta remember it is october right now this was packaged on june so yeah it is a little bit old now that i think about it maybe that has a little bit something to do with the harshness but either way 50 dollars for this nah man it's not even the date man that's making it making me think this because i could tell this has the exact same taste as that blue pack this one is a little bit better like i said but it's just that weird greenhouse outdoor type of thing it's still in this strain i don't know i can't figure out what it is man and the ash is really really white on this one 